working at group homes and foster agencies, but as a probation officer, I believe I'm able to help our clients a lot more extensively. For myself, I wanted to be that one person that can provide tools for someone and see if they can potentially turn their life around. I'm a resident of Riverside County, so therefore I wanted to affect change here within the community. I think the probation department is a perfect fit. I wanted to become a probation officer, this mainly for my community. I started realizing it's not about myself, it's about others. So I'm trying to be that good example. Prior to this, I worked in behavioral health and as a case manager. With my interest in law enforcement, I found something that sort of combined both aspects. That middle ground, that sort of hybrid, where you're not necessarily a police officer, but you're not really a social worker. You're kind of like in that middle. For me, that matched my personality. The most important thing for me is to be an example to my kids, to my two daughters, that mommy could do it. Yeah, we've been knowing each other since 2008. He got the job, he posted about it, and then I told him like, hey, I'm gonna be there too. Where are you, like, where are you assigned to? And he's like, oh, adult investigations. I was like, me too. We've actually worked like multiple jobs together. This is our third job together. What is it about myself that would make a good probation officer? I feel that I'm very compassionate and understanding of others. I have a great work ethic and my goal is just to make the probation department an even better place for the community. I'm able to go that extra mile and make sure that their needs are being met and get any resources that they need. Trying to put yourself in their shoes and trying to understand them better because that's the only way that they're going to be able to open up to you and tell you what's going on and how you can help them. So it's always been my dream to be a probation officer for juveniles and that's what I'm doing. I feel like the challenges that our clients are facing are just having the resources. And how our agency or probation can help is by providing them with resources, providing them the tools to learn how to cope with any type of trauma that they're going through that might be causing some of those prolonged issues. It's important for me to understand them and try and get them the help they need. I think that my role here is to be able to be more empathetic to them and show them that, hey, you're not alone. I want to help you improve your life and get your life back on track. I've learned a lot about how to deal with mental illness and I think that our job is to really be able to rehabilitate those people who don't know how to help themselves. I've learned so much about it that I could take that on to the field. I've learned about uh, the variety of resources uh, we have at our disposal to help connect people with. When I get back to my assignments, I'm going to let it be known that uh, no matter what somebody's going through, um, there's help. My favorite part of the academy is spending time with my peers, learning about each other. We all have um, different uh, directives and assignments, but um, everybody's goals and their hearts are in the same place. We're from different counties, but we all have the same mission, to help out these people, give them referrals, get them back on their feet. So seeing everybody always studying or talking about classes, working hard in their workouts at PT or DT, it, it, it's always gonna inspire you. I told them to keep going, I didn't stop. I, I pushed myself until the very end and I didn't give up. So I learned that I, I am capable of doing more than, than what I thought I could. We've had great instructors that have taught us so much, so I'm super excited about more DT classes. Sharing experiences with new probation officers and seasoned probation officers, it's nice to connect those experiences. They push everyone on. Like even the first day I struggled with the mile, but they came back and like ran with me to make sure I finished and like they all clapped at the end. I knew I wasn't a quitter before, but going through this, it kind of showed me like I could keep going. You could do this, let's keep going.